Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime. My name is Allison. Are we ready to get started today? Well, can I see your hands? Let's say hello to each other and let's get our beat. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello, hello, hello. Good. <laughs> Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Good. Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Very nice. Good job. Well, let me get out my magic hat so we can figure out what kind of stories we're doing today. Are you ready for my trick? I'm the best. Magician, I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Huh? What is that? An apple? Hmm. I don't have apple stories today. That's not right. Hmm. Let me try my magic trick again. You ready? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! Huh? What is that? Ketchup? Do you guys think we're doing ketchup stories today? Mm, I hope not. That doesn't seem right to me. Hmm, let me try my trick again. Will you help me this time? I'm the best magician. I can pull anything out of this hat. Abracadabra! <gasps> yes! Would you look at that? We have snowflakes today to go with our snow stories. All kinds of stories about snow. So let's take a look at our alphabet for today. Hmm. Do you guys notice a missing letter anywhere? Hmm. Oh, I see it. I see it right here. The missing letter for today is S. S for snow and S for stories. Are we ready to sing our ABCs all together? Let's start on one, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very nice. Great job. Well, let me spin this around so that we have our felt board for today. And then we can go to our first snow story, 
which is this book here. It's called The Mitten. And this is adapted from a Ukrainian folktale. And this version is by Jan Brett. Once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. She warned, if you drop one in the snow, you will never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens. And finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home first, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size. So he decided to stay. There's a little picture of him entering the mitten right here. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So now we see rabbit and mole are sharing the mitten. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room for hedgehog. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mittens and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw badger's diggers, they, give, they gave him the thumb area of the mitten. It started snowing but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth they gave that fox a lot of room. Oh my. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? 
The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. You want to sneeze with bear? Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Very nice listening. Good job, you guys. Let's see. Can I see your hands? Stretch them up, stretch them down. Stretch them up, down, up, down, up. Stretch them out. Stretch them in, ee! Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch them in, ee! Stretch them out, ooh. Stretch to the side. Stretch to the other side. Bring them around town. Stretch them out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stretch them down. Stretch them up. Tall. Stretch them down. Small. Stretch them up. Tall. Stretch them down. Small. Stretch them up. Band up. Band back and back. Whoa. Stretch them forward. Flip them over, close your hands, and follow me. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Blah! <laughs> but do not let them in. Woo! Open, shut them. Open, shut them. To your shoulders. Fly, fly, fly. Higher, higher, higher. High like birds in the sky. Falling, falling, slowly fall like snowflakes to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. <gasps> faster, 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 faster still. Faster, 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 better still. Faster, 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 better still. Faster, faster, faster. And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Very nice. Good job. Well, for our next story, I need to put up a big sled. There we go. This one is huge. 
There we go. One night beneath the snowy moon, there was, let's see, one with a sled. And then there were two until there were, will you help me count these friends? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you haven't heard this story before, it is called Ten on a Sled. And you can help me by keeping a beat. There were ten on the sled, and the caribou said, slide over, slide over. So they all slid over, but seal spilled out. Here he goes. Woo! Oof! There were nine on the sled, and the caribou said, It's snowing, get going. So they all got going, but hair hopped out. Here he goes. Boing, 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 boing. There were eight on the sled, and the caribou said, It's slicker, go quicker. So they all went quicker, but sheep shot out. Here's sheep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there were seven on the sled, and the caribou said, We're gliding, keep riding. So they all kept riding, but walrus whirled out. Here he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh. Let's see. How many, how many animals are still left on the sled? Will you help me count them? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There were six on the sled, and the caribou said, We're lighter, hold tighter. So they all held tighter, but Fox flipped out. Here he goes. Whee there were five on the sled, and the caribou said, Great thunder, duck under. So they all ducked under, but Squirrel squirted out. Let's see, how many are left? We have one, two, three, four. There were four on the sled and Caribou said, they're chasing, keep racing. So they all kept racing, but Wolf wiped out. Oh no, here he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have one, two, three animals left. There were three on the sled, and the caribou said, They're winning! Stop spinning! So they all stopped spinning, but Moose muddled out. Here he goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There were two on the sled and the caribou said keep trying we're flying so they all kept trying but bear bailed out here he goes whoa 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 <laughs> how many are left <gasps> just one there was 
one on the sled, and the caribou said, I'm lonely. Oh, so lonely. So they all leapt on for one more run. Let's count them again. We have one on the sled, two on the sled. We have whoop, three and four. We have little five and six, seven, And 10. All ready to sled again. The end. Very nice listening, you guys. Good job. Well, let me get all 10 of these friends off the board and we will do a little silly song. So if you want to participate in our little silly song, go ahead and stand up. I'm going to keep sitting on the couch so that you can still see me. And let's see. Do you guys have your heads today? Does everybody have your head? What about shoulders? Where are your shoulders at? Let's see. Do you guys have your knees today? Do you guys have knees? And what about toes? <laughs> can you touch your toes? Let's see, let's do it nice and easy the first time. You ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job. Let's do it super slow this time. You ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose head and shoulders knees and toes knees and toes all right are we ready for a challenge put your hands on your head this can be tricky we are going to switch sides you ready head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Wow, good job. Let's switch back. Ooh, and super fast. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> and can I see your hands? I have these fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. I can squeeze them together. I can open them wide. I can fold them together. I can make them all hide. Whoop! I can wiggle them high. I can wiggle them low. I can fold them together and hold them just so. Hands together. Let's do our deep breaths. You ready? Deep breath in. And out. Very nice. 
hands together. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Good job. Well, let's see. I have one more story for us. And this is the story of the perfect day. One day it snowed and it snowed and it snowed and all of the world was white. Someone got to make the first footprints in the snow. Someone whooshed down the hill on skis. Someone else rode the saucer down. And saucer can be another word for a sled. Oh, here we go. Riley the dog got lost in the snowdrift. Woof, woof, woof. Do you want to make a dog sound too? Woof, woof, woof. Someone built the tallest snowman ever. Wow. And someone else made the smallest. Hello. Someone made the best snow fort. And someone else skated in loop-de-loops across the pond. Someone opened an icicle stand. Then, all together, each one made snow angels. Wow, this is so many snow angels. Wow. There we go. Dusk settled. The lights blinked on. It was time to go home. Warm hugs, dry clothes, and hot chocolate would be waiting. Ah, the perfect day with a perfect end. The end. Very nice. Good listening. Aren't these felts beautiful? They were made by our good friend, Rachel. Same with the 10 on the sled. All right, I'm gonna leave these up since they're so beautiful put this here but we are at the end of story time and a lot of us know that that means it is time for knees up mother brown so let me get my tiger friend here if you have not played before here's how to play when my tiger friend is up in the air you can just watch him i have a board here on the bottom of the couch and when you hear tigers start to jump and dance on the board you can jump up and dance too you ready there was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sit down, sit down. There was a teeny tiger man. He loved to do handstands. All right, it's a new year. Let's see if tiger can do a handstand. You ready? He needs one arm down. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Two arms down for the handstand. Oh. Oh, the only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Woo hee! Knees up, Mother Brown. Hoo wee! Knees up, knees up. Never let the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Faster! 
Needs a mother brown, needs a mother brown, needs a, needs a one, needs a mother brown. Very nice. Great job today, you guys. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all. Goodbye. Good job. Thank you so much for joining us for story time today. Make sure you stay tuned to AADL TV for more great programming, other story times, and the Saturday show. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.